Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Battle Brothers, shall we? Resuming our complete beginner's guide. I'm gonna go check out Moltberg. Well, am I? You know what? I was gonna check out Moltberg, but it's a bad idea just in the sense that uh, I'm gonna go up here instead to Gernstenfesti. By the way, my pronunciation of all of these city names is horrifying. We do not want that fight right there at all. Even if you saw them attacking this city right here, we can't do contracts for them uh, yet. And we don't want to fight that enemy right now anyway. So I'm going to keep pressing on. Those zombies, they're like zombie monkeys, kind of. And they're really nasty. They can eat their own dead to become stronger so they require a specific strategy to take out we'll be able to do it no problem but with our troop right now there's no reason to risk ourselves unnecessarily like if that town right there Mulberg, is telling us that they're too good for us that they don't want our help then okay whatever and look at this along the way walking running fighting all good for a man's heart. The time spent traveling the land has improved the vitality and vigor of the men. So this dude right here, Bjarn, just gets an extra fatigue. So, I mean, great. And now it's time for, this will happen, like I said, periodically. If you don't have some kind of uh, large goal for your troop to work on as your kind of like ambition then you will get one and so now they're saying okay what do we want to do brothers the tutorial brothers must show the world we're forged of a hotter fire than other mercenary bands as our reputation grows so will the influx of crowns to our coffers let us forge a path to greatness all right so what do we want to do all right well making a new battle standard is cool but it costs two thousand crowns which is too expensive um i love this one we shall get the company strength to a dozen men. It'll make us a formidable force and will allow us to take on more profitable work. So this is like build up to 12. So I'm going to pick this. We have eight. We just need four more. But remember, we can't go hog wild. Oh, this city is going to be too big for us uh, as well to get contracts, but we can recruit men. And this is a, even bigger than Moltberg. It's sweet. It's a massive citadel. Now, we need men, but we need to be able to afford them. So first of all, let's just check that marketplace and see what they got. So they're giving us 17 for a full shield, which not the best, but not the worst. Uh, let's see. These are right about on price, a little bit too expensive. Uh, these are also right on price. So this is a well-stocked town. The fish is too expensive. The venison's too expensive. The shrooms and the ham are way too expensive but uh, we could easily buy these dried fruits get a little bit of extra and then right now what we have are roots and berries and dried fruits and then grains i'm gonna buy some bread i'm gonna give us a lot of different food options okay and they have uh quivers and arrows which is uh quite interesting and if i want to just check out Let's see. I'm actually going to click here to look at our band. And I definitely want another archer. So let's see what they've got to hire in the town. I'm going to uh, leave the marketplace. I'm going to go to hire. And what do they got? Now, these are some expensive, like, well-trained dudes. I can't afford expensive, well-trained dudes. But I can afford, uh, you know, refugee. Look at this guy. He's got a club. Walrum. Heck yeah. Hire. What else you got? Cripple? Okay. Um, maybe not. So, I mean, that's the cheapest of the cheap. Raymond right here. We have to be super, super careful. I'd love to just hire more and more and more, but remember, we need to be able to feed and support these folk. Uh, this guy right here is terrible with the bow. Anybody else just better with the bow? Uh, that's not... Like... He's bad with everything. He's not that great at melee. Although he does have two stars at melee.
even though this guy's bad with the bow, uh, we can try to get him better with it. So what I'm going to do is go here, and then we can go to the marketplace. And in our stash, in terms of we don't have an extra bow and we don't have an extra quiver. But let's just see if they're selling one for us here. They are. It's a little expensive. Actually, do I have an extra bow? Let me look. I, I feel like... Did I give somebody, like, a bow of any of any kind? No. Okay. All right. Then we have to buy a bow. Buy the quiver, buy the bow, and just be really sad about our money. So we can't afford anything else right now. But that's okay. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go to my inventory, and we're going to give this dude right here a bow he can put instead of the club i'm going to give him a spear and is off and then we put the quiver on of course so he can actually shoot and you know he can have a you can have a cap all right that looks pretty good Okay, now we have four archers, and we're going to head over to this city right here. It's a big harbor city, but they should be able to give us a quest. Let's just see. If not, there's this town and this town that, that are smaller that we can go to. There's also Vesselberg, but it's a long hike. I'd love to get some cheaper stuff over here. Or I'd love to get some quests that we can actually do nearby, is what I mean to say. Not necessarily cheaper. Okay, great. They've got three one skull contracts. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. And look at this town. Goodness gracious. They're not giving good prices right now uh, because they're terrified, they've been ambushed, and they're rebuilding. So we need to help them out. What is this for? Uh, the treasurer says, I wouldn't ask sell swords uh, to guard a caravan. Okay, so this is like guarding a caravan. This is actually a good kind of quest, but it's going to take us away from the town. I'll do this uh, later. Oh, darn, I rejected it outright. I should have pushed something else, so I didn't do that. Uh, let's see. Brigands. Okay, uh, let's talk money. So we'll get 80 in advance and 320 when it's done. Let's do it. Drag off the brigands at at the improvised shelter northeast of the town. All right, let's go do it. And the improvised shelter, we're going to go ahead and just save the game, see if we can even do this, right? And is this the shelter right here? It says northeast. Oh, oh no, never mind. It's got the coin or the quest emblem over here. Okay. Now that's probably somebody's house. I was going to go like ransack somebody's house. Now, I am going to get close and I'm going to camp until daytime before we attack. Because I'm not about to go into this in the in the daylight, or the nighttime with my archers. I'm going to just camp and just wait until we have some day. Dawn. Okay, let's go. Morning. Now we can fight. And there's some thugs. So thugs are not horrifying. Engage. The horse head, it's very Godfather, uh, but we're going to go show them what it means to mess with the Battle Brothers. Okay, so there's six of them, nine of us, and let's take a look at the battlefield and them. I'm going to click on um, all of these cook fires are actually uh, blocking. So I think what we might want to do is move to the south and kind of fortify along this way and make them all have to come here. I'm not sure exactly what they'll do, but that's a... I want to take advantage of range. And when I look at them, the only ones that seem scary to me are these top two that have shields. So it's just, I'm actually going to just wait and see what they do. I'm just going to push space bar waiting with all my peeps. And I'll wait. And let's see how they're coming in. Okay, they are coming down to the south. Yeah, they're all going to come down anyway. These two dudes up here, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, defend. We have some shots on them, but with those shields, it's not great. So we can send Wendell over here to just axe through their shields. So I'm actually going to just kind of step here. And uh, I will spear wall. So if they come in, they're going to get attacked. And we'll wait. And I'm going to shift some of these people down a little bit. And um, I'm going to go ahead and... Sh I'm going to wait with this person. I'll, I'll come back. I'm going to step... I can't um, shield wall if I do that. Or spear wall if I do that. But if I go here, I can. All right, and so they're going to try to fit through this narrow gap, which means we get them one at a time, which is sensational. And I'm actually going to stand here for now. They might move in and attack the Axeman, but I can't step in and attack um, with the amount of movement he has. But if they step here, they will get the automatic attack. So it's not the best position, but because he has so few action points, I kind of have to do that to be able to move and attack um, if he if he only moved into here, for example, and I was back here, uh, I could move and attack, I suppose. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just be a little bit more defensive. Okay, that's fine. And now it's time for our archers. They will not come around to them again. So, uh, unfortunately... I'm actually going to shoot this guy because we have a 65% chance he doesn't have a shield. And yeah, we almost killed that guy with the shot right there, so we'll reload. I'd love to soften this guy up, this thug, but if it gets blocked by the shield, I'm just going to be sad, you know? Alright, where can we hit? 24, 6, okay. Oh wow, we got lucky right there. We just took that guy out of the combat. Uh, we'll try to shoot that. Oh boy, we got we had two t really unlikely shots right there, which is phenomenal. Uh, if I shoot right here, there's a chance that I hit this tree, but it's honestly okay. It's worth it. And can you hit anything? Yeah, you have a chance to hit this guy. It's it's not likely. This guy has cover from this, so we'll just go for it. And then we're going to move. Uh, down here to protect the archers and spear wall. And we'll just wait. And you will shield wall. Wait. Here they come. And so this guy's like, oh my god, I'm changing my mind. And we'll wait. Let's see what they do. They're going to move a little bit more forward. Okay. We're going to attack uh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Crossbow coming up clutch. Go ahead and wait. And let's see. We have the best chance to hit this guy, so I'm just going to take the shots. We missed. I have to wait with the Axeman. I want this guy to come in. Or to at least pretend like he's going to try. Good shot. All right. And we're shooting everything at this poor guy who came forward, because there you go. Why not? And this is unlikely, but I'll take that shot anyway. And I will... I'm no longer doing shield wall. But I'll wait where I'm at. We're no longer doing spear wall. I will wait. And in this case, I'm going to put up the spear wall again and wait. I'll put up the spear wall again and wait. And see if this guy moves in. He did. He got bapped. And then he got hit again. Okay, so there we go. This guy actually had enough to move and attack with his dagger. Ooh, we really hurt that guy. Look at that. Spear wall just doing its thing. All right, so now Axe guy can come in right here. And we can try and put this guy down by splitting his shield. All right, so the guy's shield is out. He should be easy peasy for us to eliminate. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lash, which it aims for their head. He doesn't have any headgear on. So if we hit this guy in the head without armor, uh, he's going to be in really bad shape like that, basically. Okay, and now, yeah, he's gone. 
Great. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just wait back here. Wait. Uh, I can attack. Oof, that guy's almost gone. Let's take that shot. Okay, we have to move up to take the shot. So we go over the shoulder, and we killed. Oh, man, we're doing knock on wood. Very lucky so far. The rolls are going well for us so far. Let's shoot this guy. 20%. Oh, we got another hit. That's great. Uh, we have a 35% chance to hit, and we're not going to hit any of our own people, which is pretty amazing. So there we go. You see how it went from 35 to 46 because of the uh, trait that we have, the, the reflexes or whatever that give us like 10% once we miss. So this guy, 17, and then again, we'll fire here. It's a hard shot. This guy's just like straight trying to reposition and run away. Now, I can step in and hit this guy. But it'll block all of my spearmen from getting to go. Do I care about that? Yes, because this guy doesn't have an axe. So let's just be more cautious, move this guy in. And then, yeah, okay, there you go. Use the guy with the shield. And then we'll start moving in, surrounding over here. And we can kind of just move in here. I'll move up to here and move over here. He can come up and hit me, but it, it should be okay. We've got the shields and everything. All right, he's retreating, uh, but we're going to run them down because I want his stuff. So I'm going to move over here. Um, and what this does is basically like he will get an attack on me, but it's harder for him to move away. Uh, oh, I didn't reload. That's a shame. Mm, I have a very slim chance of hitting him, so let's just move up. All right, and then we'll kind of just try to cut off his retreat as much as possible. Uh, he's too far away to hit right there. If I move here, can I hit him? Not very well. But we'll just move up and get there eventually. So he'll probably attack somebody here, which is completely fine. We've got him almost surrounded, and he tried to attack. I No, no, what he tried to do is he tried to move away. He tried to run, and that's why you move adjacent to them, because you get that attack of opportunity if they try to leave your th the threatened area. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happened that time. So we basically won that without taking any damage, and look what we get. We got food, which, I mean, I'm never upset about food. Like, I'm always happy about it. And then we got money. Uh, we got a nice set of armor. This is a 65 defense Gambeson, better than what a, a lot of people have. We got some ammo. This was a tremendous haul. So we take everything. We say, yes, we did it. And then now it's time to return to town and get paid. So we're going to go. Actually, while we're just waiting, I'm going to open up the inventory check out like some of our frontline folk like this dude right here this guy has leather wraps let's give him this now look at this he's so much better protected all right fantastic um this is fine okay go ahead keep going and there's a supply caravan that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and go uh speed the game up a little bit so we can get back and do a couple other contracts here hopefully and on return, they no longer have ambush trade routes, which should help the prices, and we get 320 cash. All right, I'm going to, uh, let's see, check their marketplace. Mm, the marketplace is still terrible. We actually got worse prices. Maybe because the villagers are terrified. Not sure entirely, but that's not ideal. And I do want to check out their supply price. Oh, their supplies are so expensive. Ugh. Do you have anything that's reasonably priced? Not so much. So we're not going to buy or sell anything. What's what's this contract here? Um, the folks are in turmoil. Graves in the cemetery have been found opened. Um, so this guy says it's uh, the 
dead rising from the graves, but they want us to go take care of it. Now, this could be dangerous, but it is one skull, so we're going to get 420 crowns. I accept it. We have to go check the burial site, and we'll go off and do that. They've got a barber. They've got a temple. They've got a tavern. Uh, let me check the mood of my people. Actually, everybody's in good spirits. And while we're here, let's go ahead and push inventory, and let's level these people up. So Oswald leveled up. And Oswald is up in the front with a spear, so we want health, we want melee. And, you know, I am going to go fatigue because I'm really enjoying spear wall for the moment. Right there. And let's go for perks. We already have this front line done. Now we can move into the second line, which basically, uh, let's see what... I like gifted, but not on my starting brothers. Gifted just gives you a level, um, but you don't get a talent point. I like to have talent points on them. Quick Hands is very good for switching between items that, that aren't shields um, as a free action, so it doesn't cost anything if you want to do that. Very good. Um, Steel Brow says hits to the head no longer cause critical damage, so it keeps them alive. Um, Fortified Mind makes you, your resolve go higher. Resilience says negative effects have, they're, re uh, they're reduced. 15% of the initiative is melee and ranged defense, so dodge, very good. And 20% extra damage if they have suffered injury effects like a broken arm. So that's also very, very nice. Um, I'm going to go with quick hands for now because I want to be able to switch between items. And then let's go to these people in the back. So Sigvold has leveled up, so we get better with your bow, get some more health, very good. And let's go ahead and boost your initiative. That's good. And then what's your perks there? Okay, well, we'll take fast adaptation. There we go. That's what we want. Not quick reflexes. Fast adaptation. So you're better shooting. And then this is an original bro. So we're going to level up, get better at shooting, get some more health. And indeed, we want you acting first with that initiative. Now, for you, we already have fast adaptation. We can take bullseye. The penalty to hit chance when shooting at a target you have no clear line of fire to is reduced from 75 to 50%. So we're going to take bullseye because it's just very, very nice for getting a little bit of extra accuracy on some tough foes. And where's this burial site? It's over here. So we'll save the game. Tutorial. Save it. And let's go get it. Supplies are really, really dwindling. I'm not going to hire another brother right now because I want to make sure that we stabilize money-wise. Maybe once we get a thousand again, I could consider that. There we go. All right, so we're in the cemetery and we can engage. And okay, so we're fighting some, these are actually zombies. Not zombie uh, monkeys. <laughs> These are just zombies. These are called Vierdergongers or something like that. And uh, we're just going to wait for them. Now, if there's a necromancer, we have a problem. If there's not, we can beat these probably. But this is not necessarily the most easy battle. And we'll see as we go. They're slow at least. And here they come. So you'll notice that like a lot of them don't even have weapons. All right, we'll go ahead and shoot. Good shot. All right, you missed. Shoot. 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 All right, very good shooting there. And for everyone else, uh, we're just going to... The nice thing about a fight like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're missing one of them. It's not on the screen yet. The nice thing about a fight like this is that they're slow, so our range really gets to shine. They won't even get to move in. I don't even need a shield wall or a spear wall right now because they won't be able to get to us next turn. So we can just save our fatigue. Okay. This one right here with the pitchfork, we definitely want to take out as soon as we can. I'm going to try to kill the one that's up front. We got it. 
Now, the thing about undead is obviously they don't really have like morale. They're unbreakable on morale because they're just mindless zombies. So there's that to consider. But other than that, we'll be fine. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait with everybody except for the archers. And I'm gonna try to hit this big boy. Remember, when you fire into a crowd, you do have a slight chance to, like, maybe hit somebody else. Okay, good. That was a good shot. Great. Okay, here they come. All right. So they're definitely going to be here. And remember, we're going to go faster than them. We could step in right now and just start hitting them. They don't get to act for this turn. So I could, like, step up and just start wailing. But I think what I'm going to do is just continue to be defensive. It might not be ideal, given the fact that... Uh, I'm going to reload. We'll probably get to act before them. So this is going to build up some, like, potentially unnecessary fatigue. But I'm just going to try it this way and make sure I leave nothing to chance and this guy I could you know do the like if I could step here and round swing how phenomenal would that be but I don't have the ability uh, because I don't have enough movement and I could step here and round swing and hit my own person but that doesn't seem wise so we'll just wait and we're gonna fire we gotta kill the guy who has to reach or at least try to you see we're all acting before them I'm still going to wait with the Axe Man. And let's see. Can we finish this guy? It's He's right there. Oof, that was bad. Okay, we missed the guy in front, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So now none of these dudes have weapons. They can, like, bite us and such, but it's a lot better than if they had weapons. I'm going to shoot here, even though I have less of a chance to hit. And the reason I'm doing that... Oh, we got that guy again. Because, number one, there's a cluster of enemies, so if we miss, there is a chance that we hit another enemy off to the side. But also, the top is... There's only two enemies. So there's less people over here. So the bottom is, like, more where I'm scared. I'm going to go back to Spear Wall, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to go uh, to Shield Wall and wait. And here they come. Okay, Spear Wall in effect. Spear Wall in effect, doing its thing. Spear Wall bouncing him back. Bouncing him back. Spear wall. Okay. Ooh, this guy got right on us. I didn't think he would have that much movement. That was my mistake. Okay. So now, at this point... Um, it's our turn again. And we have full action points. So I'm not going to mess around with spear wall. I'm just going to uh, start fighting these guys. This guy's only a little bit hurt. Okay, one shot there. And I'm going to intercept right here. Good shot. All right, and... Oh, no, it's not a new round. I was wrong. I just had been waiting, but that's okay. So I'm going to go here, and they're still not acting before us. And even on the next round, they won't act before us. I do actually want to take this guy out. And I can't, sadly, move and attack. But it gets me in position for next round to get a double attack. So I'm going to move right here. And we can um, lash this guy. And we knocked off his hat. And we hurt him. And I'm going to move, start moving down. And this guy... Uh, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to leave it. And now, wait a minute. What has happened? Look at this. They've just risen from the dead. And they're getting to act a little bit faster than I want. So, that's a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. All we can see. So, sometimes these dead will come back, but I believe that they can only come back once. Can I hit you? Not very easily. Uh, can I hit any of these guys? This guy we can hit pretty easily. Oof, that was a good chance, but we missed. All right, so this guy's going to get to attack our archer, which stinks. Oh, he bit us. Let's see what happened. He bit us, and he hit the shield for one damage. Okay, that's fortunate. All right. Let's try to kill this guy. Okay, good. And then 
sometimes you can stand on top of bodies and it sort of prevents them from resurrecting, kind of. All right, so in this spot, uh, we need to switch over to our spear. That's why we have this. And we're just going to go ahead and try to get this guy. And we did. And we can shoot this guy. One more. There you go. And spear. Stand on the body. Wait. And then... Let's go ahead and see spear. This guy? There you go. Good shot. Alright, so we can, with the archer, we don't have the best chance, but if I move here, uh, it's four? Yeah, I can move to here and actually have a good chance to try to hit somebody. We missed, sadly. Uh, this guy's almost gone. Oh no. Okay, now he's gone. Alright. And we'll wait. And we'll wait. All right, this guy rose from the dead. Okay, so standing on that guy did not stop him from rising from the dead. Surprise. I believe that standing on the body will stop the zombie monkey guys, the Nebuchadnezzars or whatever, from being able to eat the corpse and grow. But in this case, it does not prevent the zombies from rising from the dead. Luckily, they don't get to rise and act. So I'm going to um, finish that guy. He's easy to hit because he's surrounded. We're going to shoot this dude. Almost got him. And uh, we can switch back to our bow now. And try to maybe hit... Ah, uh, we don't really have a great chance to hit given where everybody is. So I'm just going to move out like this. And... Uh, where can we move? Can you move here... You can, and it will leave us with five. Can you... What about if you move here? Okay. There you go. One more shot. Great. Alright, this is all that's left, this guy. Almost got him. Yes. So, that's a zombie fight. You see how they raise from the dead, even without a necromancer... But they only raise once, and its I don't believe it's a guarantee that they raise, although I could be wrong about that. But we took care of it, no problem. And um, as far as loot goes, not great. They did have a bludgeon, a pitchfork, and some cash, so we'll take all of it, of course. But we leveled up three, and we're going to get paid out from the town. So it's like more like, okay, we got experience. I'm going to push I to go into our inventory, go here, and say, how's it going, everybody? Perks, uh, let's level up. We're going to go one, two, three. You are a frontline fighter. Hit points, melee, and... How about some defense? Okay. And then perks for you, buddy. Uh, Colossus. And then you, Wendell. No, no, keep it. We're going to go melee, hit points, and defense again. And then, uh, geez. I don't really switch him from his axe too much. Let's just have him dodging to help with his defense a little bit. There we go. And then we can move back to town. And we'll speed it up. So we're going to get 420 crowns for completion. Get in there. Bam. And now they no longer have terrified villagers, so that is gone. And so, for example, if we go to the marketplace, you see, yes, 18 gold for the shield, which is now we're getting to, like, this is much better, even better than the 17 that we're normally seeing. So this is a good time for us to buy. Look at how much supplies. Remember, they were 300. Now they're down to 236. So I'm going to buy one, even though it's not the best price. It's not, like, underpriced, but it's way better. I can sell this cloth roll 
it's worth 140 i can sell it to them for 178 like they really like me right now so we can make some cash with these people selling stuff if we like and we can buy things for a reasonable price so we can probably get another brother here uh, what's this guy this guy was a, a eunuch oh boy um yeah go for it you're in and then what do you have in the marketplace do you have a bow and arrows you don't so the eunuch then will probably have to go in the front over here and we saw this actually we got flanked because the enemy was able to come around the corner on our archer so this is a reasonable thing to want somebody over here and we don't have the best armor for you uh, but we certainly have some okay weaponry kind of like we can give you a short sword and a buckler uh, I'm not thrilled on it but okay you know this guy might not make it but he's there awesome all right everybody this is a good place to end the episode we could try this too um skull contract you know which he says uh he wants us to he wants us to go to this town east of here and how many crowns are we talking about 440 okay um so forget it this isn't worth it we'll need payment in advance we need to be paid for this um let's take it so we just need to deliver this cargo to the guy east of here and get paid um, but let's just say I need some time to think about it. It's still here and we can sign it. So we haven't lost it, but it's still up for our consideration. Our arrows are running out. Do you have good arrows here? What's your price on arrows? Terrible, terrible price. All right. So we need to go someplace else. This is a fishing town though. Look, they're selling fish, uh, for a reasonable price, but we have plenty of food. Not really worried about that. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and helpful. We could take this quest, and then they want us to go here. And that would be actually good for us anyway to get over there and maybe get some new contracts. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.